Welcome to this video on how to read and write text files in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you two programs. One that writes out some text and the other that reads it in and displays it. Both are pretty simple. Let's start off with this one that shows you how to write a text file. We need an object of the file writer class so I'm going to call that FW. So that's going to be a new file writer and I need to say what this file is going to be called. So in this case it's going to be called credits.txt. Then I need a print writer. A print writer object allows me to actually print to the file that was created and that takes in a file writer object. So that's what the FW is. That's the object that was created in the line above. We can now print to this print writer. So these three lines print out some text to this file. Having printed it out, I must close it. If you don't close it, the file won't be written. It will be left open and it will be unreadable. Because you have problems with files, you need a try catch. Supposing you're trying to write to a drive that doesn't exist or suppose there's a problem with the disk drive itself you need to be able to catch that error for your program not to fall over and when you're reading and writing text files Java insists that you use try and catch. In fact this little triangle here is trying to tell me to use a try and catch with just this one line in practice I don't need to do that. So let's see this program working. Shift and F6 to run it and it looks like nothing's happened. However, when we go to the Files tab you'll see that there's a credits.txt. The file has been created. Now let's move on to the second program. This program reads in the file that we've just created. Only I've intentionally made an error. I've called it test in instead of credits. I'm doing that to show you what happens when there's an error, how the try catch actually works. So let's try this. Shift F6 and it says file not found. But the build was successful. Let's change that to credits. So I've changed the text file's name to credits. I'll save that. I don't need to really. Java, uh, NetBeans does that anyway. Shift F6 and it says course 30 credits, year 120, degree 360 credits. Exactly the stuff that we wrote out to that file. As you can see, reading in and writing out is quite easy. The principle for reading in is exactly the same as for writing. You need a file reader object and you create that with the file name. You then need a buffered reader object which is the thing that actually does the reading from the file reader object. And then we're going to have a string into which we read a line at a time. And as we read the line in, it's going to display it, print line, string, with a carriage return on the end. And it's going to keep doing that whilst the input is not null. In other words, it'll keep doing it until we reach the end of the file. So that's how this program works. If you don't give it the correct file name, it just says file not found. Quite simple. 